Page four and five, then. Um, Madam Court Reporter, Madam Clerk, we ready? Yes? Yes. Okay. Um, page four and five, Joel Stokes versus Bank of America, 720032. Council, can I have your appearances, please? It's a, a joke. Hoppage, page four and one is open. Trustee of the Gordon Hanson Trust, Your Honor. It's our motion to amend. Donald Wittig for Defendant Nation Star. And Caleb Anderson for Defendant Sun City and the Community Association. Okay, folks. Um, I see it's an unopposed motion to amend the answer, counterclaim, and cross-claim. Where I have concerns is this is a 2015 case. And so, can you walk me through? As you know, I've got EDCR 1.90 issues because of the age of the case. And the court always has to take that into consideration. While I appreciate the low standard under... I, I don't think we're adding new claims, Your Honor. As um, I recall, a long time ago, uh, Ms. Open appeared in front of the person mm -hmm. on behalf of the trust. She advised her to get counsel. And I so, don't advise people to get counsel. Well, she had she had to get counsel. We appeared in the case on her behalf. The the complaint, I think, it post complaint, it merely uh, it merely. Uh, Clarifies the claims. It, it doesn't help to add any claims, Your Honor. It just it just clarifies. And, and we thought we it, we thought we should be the ones to sign the pleading, and not her, since she could not represent the trust. If that makes any sense. But does this change? But why would this change the bench trial date? It doesn't. Does anyone think it does? I don't think that we would be engaging in additional discovery or anything like that. Okay, so if, if that's it, I mean, if this is just purely clerical, then the court's not going to have a concern. What I was concerned is that sometimes if it's late in the game and then it has to reopen up a lot of things and I have to look at, you know, what's the, got your HOA, you know what I mean? Yeah, for but us, no, there were no new claims against the HOA, so. Yeah, it's, it's a quiet file, actually, Your Honor, and it's simply, it was just a thing to clarify what she had done in proper person and clarify those claims. That's it. So does that work for everybody? that really make this so that it actually can go to trial with the proper parties and actually do what it needs to get done? I would agree that that is accurate, yes. Okay, so does it impact anything other than having the right parties in the title? Uh, in all candor, I think there's some parties that, that are still in the caption on it that, that uh, we have not removed that are, I think the court has, I think they've been dismissed. There's, but I think the ones that are here are still the active parties, Your Honor. It's, there's consolidation, there's uh, multiple claims back and forth. It's, okay. it's really just a quiet highlight. It's what it really brings down to from the HOA foreclosure sale. That's what it comes down to. Okay. Well, let's go. I thought quick. I apologize, Ron. And we could take some time amongst counsel to look at the caption and clean that up and remove. That, that's that's where I'm going. Anyone that that might have been dismissed or consolidated or misnamed. Um, because when I looked at your Exhibit 1, which a friendly reminder, you are required to get us courtesy copies. I didn't get it. Didn't and much and cool. to spend the time to print out your 27 pages? Okay, so, when I looked through it though, okay, there was still a lot of data. That's the reason why I was asking the questions I was asking from a confusion standpoint, because I see all these names still in the caption, I was reading what you had and trying to place, I have three parties here, and it just wasn't adding up. I think we're all here, but I think... Uh, but it doesn't match. The, the caption's got a lot more names than I have does, bodies right. here and parties. And then that's why I was looking at what you have. And it might mean that, that what counsel says, we might need to like get together and clean the, cash, the captions up because there's been some parties that were, I think, dismissed or were, they... they uh, denied any, any claim to the property and so therefore they have not been active in the case and so we, I think we should clean that up. But the, the complaint that we did did not do that. That's that's what I was pointing out when I was asking my questions because I was comparing caption to who I have here in court to what I was looking in the claims to saying we have a trial and I was going, I've got missing parties. The, the complaint caption wasn't adding up to who I had here. Okay, so. That's not before me today, but do I have a oral stipulation under the, by the parties that truly remain in the case under EDCR 7.50 that you are 
stipulating that you're going to amend the case caption to accurately reflect who are the actual parties in this case that are going to trial? We can take our, I, I think so. The, the actual plaintiffs in the case, I don't see counsel for them, and they just may not have shown up because they didn't oppose the motion, and I, I'm not sure where they are, but I, I think they're still involved. That's so I don't know that the three of us can stipulate. That, that's what I'm trying yeah. to find out. I, I'm trying to find out who's going to trial in this case without having to do what, unfortunately, the court's not supposed to have to do, mm -hmm. go line by line in each and every one of my cases to figure out. Who's who and who's uh, going forward. Who's yeah, not it's going kind forward. of like what the attorneys are supposed to do in their own cases. I, I think that, I mean, again, plaintiff's counsel is still involved. It was, it was the, they filed the, the initial action, and so they're still involved in the case. They're, I think, mm -hmm. the only ones involved in the case. Mm -hmm. And so, um, We'll work together. I think to clean the caption up. That's the best case. Okay, Your Honor. Okay. Because it looks like you don't have a status check until March 4th. Okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grant the motion to amend the answer, counterclaim, and cross claims as unopposed and based on the representation that the motion to amend the answer, counterclaim, and cross claims and looking at the proposed amended answer, counterclaim, and cross claims does not add any new parties, does not add any new claims cross-claims, or counterclaims. It does not change any of the current deadlines, does not change the trial dates or any of the pre-trial dates. The court is also going to put in the minutes and tell you all directly who are here that at the status check on March 4, 2019, if it has not been cleaned up before, the court is going to tell all parties that you must have a case caption that accurately reflects within I'm going to say it's going to. I'm going to recommend that the parties get it done before the status check because it's supposed to. We will make sure it gets done before the status check. Right? You get you know to March 4th. If not, I'm going to follow up on March 4th that you have a caption that accurately reflects who's in this case. Okay. That sounds good. Seem to meet everyone's needs. Gives you more than enough time to get everything done. Yes. That works. Fine, our okay. Status check is March 14th. Oh, I'm sorry. My I'm looking. But it gives us even more time. So we'll we'll beat okay. that. Okay. Um, well, let's make sure we have the correct date. Thank you so much. I was looking at my bench memo. It said the 4th. Let's, let's go to the correct date. Thank you, Madam. Madam Clerk's correct. It is March 14th. So my error in saying March 4th, it is March 14th. I was looking at my bench memo. Okay. So March 14th, 9 a.m. Is, is the status check. It's when we're going to see you next, unless we get something in the intervening time. Okay. Thank you very Thank much, you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. Okay. Um, so that was pages four and five. Well, it looks like, okay, I can't do one and two. Page eight, Your Honor. Well, um, page eight. Sure. Page one is all the attorneys are present. Yeah. Well, too late. Okay. Um, page eight. Page eight is... Serena Spatter versus Rachel Adams, 744-002. Okay. 